At my mama's bar in Texas, it was called something Lighthouse. It's probably burnt down by now, but I don't want to be sued, especially from the shit that happened there and I wrote about. <laughs> Fucker, we kept a secret for 20 years. <laughs> he wrote about you, cocksucker. Throw him in the... He was retarded. We had to shoot him in the head. His Texas don't worry about right. Got away with that one. <laughs> anyway, man. <laughs> I'm trying not to be better about Texas. But my childhood really makes it hard. But, happy memories. Kids hated me. Uh, we, I bounced around from schools everywhere. Stinky kid. Stinky kid. Stinky kid. <laughs> when in doubt, break into Broadway. Tint. Um, kids hated me, man. They fucked with me up. Fucking jacked them up, cause now it's past. I'm, you know, uh, you know, we've moved on past that shit, and we're in horrible areas now. But kids don't fuck with me, cause I will just go crazy with them. So they leave me alone, and the teachers hate me. Ain't no big fucking deal, because we'll be moving anytime. <laughs> so there's no need to uh, try. But my writing, and my spelling, and uh, the check marks that talks too much, class clown entertainer thingy. I had A's every fucking time, no matter how much they tried to fuck up my education. <laughs> Relax, Frankie. <laughs> um, where was I going with this? This is important. Isn't it time? Share. Oh, I hope that lighthouse is gone. Because <laughs> I can't take that back. Surely it's gone. Everybody's dead by now from that place. No one my luck, the guy that put my head underneath the fucking sink still alive trying to hunt me down and kill me. Try that. Not kidding. Hey, try that. The dude that put my, uh... <laughs> head in that sink? Put my turtle in there? I thought about coming to Texas and finding you. I'm grown up now. Big boy. Big boy I am. Blam. <laughs> guns. Yeah, I know. I just called them guns for this asshole here. So if you are out there, I'm not kidding now. I'm not kidding. If you're still alive, I'm the kid that you put that turtle in the garbage disposal, held my head over and turned it on. And every night stood in that doorway of mine with that fucking knife and threatened to cut my balls off. So if you're still alive, and you'd like to sit down and have a little chitty chat with me, come find me. I fucking mean it. And we'll talk. I'll treat you like you did me. I'm not kidding. 
Anyway. Anyway. Fine. Yeah. Find me. You find me. I'll take care of that. I don't have to go back to Texas next one. Because surely all those people are dead. But if not, fuck it, you know what? Anybody from that childhood, try and find me. And fuck with me. Anyway, I'm sorry, I did not. Damn it, that took a David Lynch left turn. And I didn't mean it to. I really didn't. I honestly don't even remember what we were talking about. We were in a happy place. You and I. Not, <laughs> not you. So let's go here. Let's let's process this and deal with that part. Pass this video around. Uh, in Texas and everything. Um, Paralyzed Texas, little boy, beating the shit out of us, stinky kid. Y'all fucking just treated him horribly. The cocksucker that pulled that bullshit. Find me. All right. Pass this video around. You come find me. You come find me. Okay. Whew, done. Did I do that three times? Hey, doggy. Ooh, omen. <laughs> nice. Yeah, come find me. That would. Oh, that, oh God, that'd be so nice. What I could do to you? <laughs> but that's why I didn't go back to Texas. I became a monster like him. But if the monster comes to me, I will defend myself. And I do it quite well. Oh, isn't it time? The lighthouse. Hmm. Uh, there's lots of. Uh, there was lots. Seven women, all the women, that would hang out in the bar during the day and with my mom and a couple of the dudes varied, depending on what was going on, drug deals and stuff. But my true happy place was uh, since the kids didn't like me and some people did things to me, I just liked to go to the bar and listen to the jukebox and shoot bull, play the pinball machine. <laughs> That's pinball machine, not. But the good thing is, <laughs> Mom loved to see me when I'd come in from school. She'd give me a hug, and uh, I could stay for a couple hours after uh, school. Uh, but then when night came, I had to walk a very long way through a very dangerous neighborhood back to a hotel full of cockroaches that crawled all over me. I had to put cotton balls up my nose and in my ears. And uh, you, uh, you sleep when you, uh, you spit them out when you sleep, or you eat them. Protein. So obviously I didn't want to go home. The drunk ladies would play the jukebox. Because mom taught me how to dance. And I can't show you the first dance, but basically, honey child, you take your foot this behind here, and you take this foot and go behind here, honey child, and that's it. And then snap your fingers. That's it. Fingers. I think I'm making my mama sound more southern than she is. It's okay. Because if you heard my real mama talk, Heel belly. What the hell? You can't understand a single word she says. Sometimes, like I imagine you do in these videos. Isn't it time, babies? <laughs> that was, uh, I love this song. This is one of those songs we played in the jukebox tonight, me and the drunk ladies. And the funny thing was, oh, Patty's Titty. Yeah, I can make this back into a happy, a happy one. Bear with me here, okay? I was, an, I, I was a little dude as a kid, man. I, I'm a fucking adult in a little kid's body. I had done things that kids shouldn't do. I mean, if, hell, if I actually had a penis that was long enough to get into a girl's vagina, that would have happened like in the first grade or something. It's just a horrible life. And it's not a good life. I don't want people, I got no right. Don't brag about that bullshit. Kid Rock. Um, he didn't get, I don't know. I'm just, uh, anyway. I hate that guy. Um, <laughs> I watch a Kid Rock fan try and come up and start some fucking shit with me. I'm no kid rocking it. Yeah, I know people that know him too. Douchebag, go away from me or I'll stomp your fucking head in. Anyway. Isn't it time? The babies. <laughs> I loved getting out of school. Hell hole. Yeah, the teacher's a punk. And running 
to the lighthouse bar. I got a roll of quarters that uh, the ladies and uh, Yankee Yankee Jim before he was murdered would give me because Yankee Jim was always there teaching. Oh, Yankee Jim taught me how to speak Gabby Hayes. Yankee Jim was one of the few people that was good to me, and he was murdered, Mur murdered in front of my eyes. That's the brains on my face. <gasps> oh, this hurts and sucks so much, but it's okay. Yankee Jim. Uh, hang on one second. Yankee Jim taught me how to speak Gabby Hayes. Put your tongue on top of your mouth and go, Hey, Roy, I'm Gabby. So every day I'd introduce myself to Yankee Jim that way. And uh, I think it was Bruce. Another guy took care of me. Everybody else, alcoholic, burned out drug. He's just fucked up on everything. There was no hair. It was mostly snorty, snorty pills. But, uh, yeah. But I'd come in, give Mama a hug, hey, I wore it, I'm Gibber. And then I'd dance with the ladies. Now, the ladies were tall and I was short, and they were teaching me slow dancing and everything. And again, I think I came out of the womb being a writer and loving women. It's weird, the energy I have and everything. Older women will do things with me that it just, I'm like, woo, this is fun. And it kind of started. <laughs> With my babysitters that my mama lead me to that were not much older. You want to see how to do it? Sure, I'm going to lay, lay down. I'll sit on your face. Okay. What's a stinky boy going to say? No. <laughs> so then we go from that to I'm in the bar. And every chance I can get it, I'm hoping I can experience women in any way possible. It's awesome. Happy place. Well, I'm dancing. And there was this one woman, and we called her Patu. God, I hope I don't get in trouble for doing all this. What are you going to do? I'm happy for, you know, I'm sorry, you're a horrible cat. Da, 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 da. So Patu was beautiful to me. I know. But if I, but she probably looked like Tammy Faye Baker because she had so much makeup on and stuff. <laughs> but boy, back in 1981, 2, 3, 4, whatever it was, uh, I think I got back to Indiana in 83, right before 84, Van Halen's sixth grade. Do the math, fuck it. Uh, Patty loved to dance with me, and she didn't dance to, uh, my mom and I danced as in the time, and they loved for us to watch me and mom do that, and then they'd take turns. I'm pretty sure, Purdy, P-U-R-D-E-E, -E, sure that uh, Patty danced to You Want a Man with a Slow Wind, <laughs> and that's not Conway, T I don't think that's Conway Twitty. Anyway, that was her song. Ching -ching. Quarter goes in the jute box. Sorry. Quarter goes in the jute box. Patty will grab, Patu will grab me and we go out. Now put your hand in Patty. She talk like she's drunk. Patty drunk. Tammy Faye, ba if Tammy Faye Baker and, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can do this. Pat Benatar. And, um, hang on. Uh, Joyce Duet from Three's Company. <laughs> Pushed in together, all right? That's Patu. Yeah. Nice, Dana. Um, because that nails it, actually. Uh, he, where am I at? I am dancing with Patu. Now put your hands on my head. And Patu had a body. Her face looked like she chain smoke and drinking to die. But Patu had a body. <laughs> uh, I'm grateful for Patu at the lighthouse. Because there's mom working at the bar. And, there, and the guy's like, you know, like, yeah, look at you, grab her butt, you know. And I'm like, go do do, grab her butt, what do you do? You know, I, I'm listening to the adults and Patu. Like, oh, I love you, Dana. You want a man with a slow hand? Now, Patu had her heart broken every single week. Um, it's kind of like Concrete Blonde's Roxy's End of Night, which it comes later on. Uh, foreshadow. Uh, right, anyway. I'm dancing with Patu. You want a man with slow hand? Pin, uh, pinball, click in the background. Pool balls over here. And Patu would get her, uh, would fall in love on Monday, get her heart broken on Friday, and I would dance in between all that stuff. And literally, because my mom couldn't pick a good man, so she's constantly, you're da 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 da. One would think when we go, maybe it's you and the men you pick. But again, I don't judge, I'm just a child. <laughs> And if I said that, she probably would have slapped the fucking shit out of me. 
Uh, she didn't beat me that often, but boy, sometimes when she hit me, when she's fucked up, she jacked some shit up. <laughs> she didn't mean to. That's one thing. She didn't really beat me, beat me. She mentally fucked me up. Everybody else beat the shit out of me. Anyway, slow hand patu. <laughs> Balls bartending. Dudes are watching. Other people slow hand. Dang, and I put your hips here. And I mean, I got my own patu. If you tell me to put my hands on my on your hoo hoo, I'm gonna, you know, with that. So my hands are as close as I can be without getting in trouble <laughs> for being a ten-year-old kid. And what Patu did is would go through of how men break women's hearts. And she said, I was adorable. When I grew up, I was going to be a heartbreaker. And don't you break women's hearts. Don't you, don't you do it. And here comes the chuckle. And she would always take my hands. And uh, you know, after a while, my hands were on her ass. And mom, Dana, and I'd take my hands off her ass and stuff. You know, but I mean, no offense, I'm a 10-year-old kid. The kids hate me. If I'm on Dance with Drunk Lady, I'm going to do everything I possibly can get to me with. I'm sorry. I'm a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> and the guys are like, they're cracking up, man. They just love me. And Patty, Patu, really got her heart broken one time. And she, I mean, she really didn't like this guy. And uh, he, he, he didn't treat her good. We watched it. The thing is, as a kid, I watch, the, I don't watch Bugs Bunny, I watch adult drunks. <laughs> That's my TV. So, anyway, uh, we're dancing, and Patu grabs my hand and puts it on her, and she, her very beautiful breast. You want a man with, and I think I've done this video before, slow hand. Dana, don't you ever, ever break, feel that? That's my heart. That's my heart. And it's broken. And in my head, I'm like, no, that's a really awesome movie. <laughs> but I'm just, you know, I'm dancing and I'm listening and I just have always look them in the eyes because I'm like, dear God, this is, if I could do this the rest of my life, it'd be awesome. And I hear my hillbilly mama. It's probably got a couple of beers down there at this point. <laughs> a couple of joints. Maybe a couple of... Uh, uppers because she's going to do a 16 hour day or something there's little Dana with the cow lick I think I had a change of clothes at this point grabbing the very nice woman's booty and booby I mean I think I'm even back here a little bit Dana get your hands off Patty's titty and I'm not doing that because Patty's got her hand around it but mom she put it there I'm just being a gentleman and the bar cracks the fuck up and patty doesn't pull my hand away she she's in there like you get in there that's right diane he's he's a gentleman i'm a gentleman mom <laughs> i'm a gentleman mom you want a man with a slow hand i'm uh, you want a boy with a slow hand because that's what we got right now oh god <laughs> uh, two or three nights later I was allowed to do the bar thing like that after school for a while and then as always I tried to push things too far and see what I could get away with and I told mom I went home because <laughs> there was going to be a big uh, band it was going to be a oyster checking big event in a very tiny um, pole barn area in the ghetto here in Texas I didn't walk home. <laughs> I stayed because I loved live music. And a fucking bar fight broke out. <laughs> and it was ugly. I mean, what was that? Every which way but loose? Yeah. <sighs> God, man. I wrote that in my book. And Bruce and Yankee Jam got me out of it because they saw. <laughs> Fuck. I was not allowed to ever go back to that bar. That's okay, because I think a month later they killed Yankee Jim at that Halloween party that I was at, because, the, uh, yeah. But, you remember the good stuff, man. You do. Slow hand. <laughs> but, my, but my mama gentleman. All right. I'm getting through this shit. And I think I hit record. Or I'm hitting record now. <laughs>